In today's class, we are going to talk about higher order linear homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. Table of contents. In the first step, we are going to talk about theory, general form, next second order equations, then some examples. After that, examples with solution. Finally, practice exercises. The general linear differential equation of the nth order is of the form a0 differential to the power of n y over dx to the power of n plus a1 d to the power of n minus 1 times y over d x n minus 1 so on a n times y is equal to the b so where a's and the b are a the functions of x or constants for convenience of notation the nth derivative with respect to the independent variable will be denoted by dn here d is called operator since it denotes the operation of differentiation using the notation with x as an independent variable became this equation a0 d to the power of n times y plus a1 d to the power of n minus y n minus 1 times y plus and so on uh, plus a n times y is equal to the b if b is equal to the b the general linear equation is homogeneous if b cannot be zero is not equal to the zero it's called non-homogeneous equation then Let's talk about second order higher homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. In this presentation, we'll look at the linear, n's order, autonom autonomic and the homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. Let's see some examples. R first is uh, y double uh, prime which is second order derivative minus 7 y derivative plus 12 y is equal to a zero then y third order derivative plus y second order derivative minus 4 y derivative plus 4 y is equal to zero y second derivative plus y is equal to the zero so all these equations homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients one way to solve this is to assume that a solution has the form y is equal to the power of r times x so where r is a constant to be determined let's have an example Find the general solution of y um, double prime, it means second derivative, minus 7y derivative plus 12y is equal to the zero. So let's have a solution. Uh, let's uh, say y is equal to the e to the power of rx. Therefore, y prime is equal to the r e to the power of rx and y double prime is equal to the r square times e to the power of r x substituting we have r square e to the power of r x minus 7 times r e to the power of r x plus 12 e to the power of r x is equal to the zero then we need to factor this trinomial, so we need to take out of our common factor its e to the power of rx. So what we have in brackets, trinomial r square minus 7r plus 12. So then we can factor this trinomial again. So this um, trinomial is going to be in two brackets. Uh, first factor is r minus 3, 
second factor is I'm r minus 4. So from these factors, we can see that r is equal to the 3, r is equal to the 4. So when you substitute in place of r here, 3 and the 4, we can see possible solutions are y is equal to the e to the power of 3x and y is equal to the e to the power of 4x. So how do we get that general solution? So let's continue to find the general solution of equations. From the last slide, we found that y is equal to the e to the power of 3x and y is equal to the e to the power of 4x. A possible solutions of y uh, second derivative minus 7 y derivative plus 12 y is equal to 0. This is easy to check for y e to the power of 3x and we have y derivative is equal to the 3 e to the power of 3x and the y second derivative is equal to the 9 e to the power of 3x. Substituting we have so this equation, when you substitute here, the first is first term 9e to the power of 3x minus 7 times 3e to the power of 3x plus 12 times e to the power of 3x. Then we can see from these three terms, we have common factors, which is e to the power of 3x. Then you take out of bracket, we can see constant terms. Then we can collect them, calculate. So what's going to be here? So answer will be 0. And e to the power of 3x times 0 is going to be 0. For y is equal to the e to the power of 4x and we have y derivative is 4e to the power of 4x and second derivative is equal to the 16e to the power of 4x. And substituting we have this equation again one, two, three, three terms there are, and from the first term and the second term and the third term, we can see we have common factor again, e to the power of 3x. So we take out of our common factor what's going to be, we can say that constant terms and we can calculate these constant terms. So what's going to be, will be zero. So the law of uh, superposition states if y1 and the y2 are literally independent solutions of differential equation of the form I discussing. So is their linear product is equal to the y c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2. In our example, the general solution is equal to the c1 e to the power of 3x plus c2 e to the power of 4x. So we need to check our equation, check it, uh, finding a y derivative and the y double derivative. Then we need to substitute in place of our corresponding values. So y double prime, the second derivative is equal to the 9 c1 e to the power of 3x plus 16 c2 e to the power of 4x. Minus y prime 7 times 3 c1 e to the power of 3x plus 4 c2 e to the power of 4x. Then plus, this is a y is equal to the 12. This is our coefficient c1 e to the power of 3x plus c2 e power of 4x. So then you can group. So open the brackets here. Then group this, uh, re regroup these values. <clears throat> then we can factor. So we can take our factor after grouping, take out the factors. So we can see here, c1 e to the power of 3x is common factor. So we can calculate our constant terms. And also c2 e to the power of 4x a common factor, we can calculate in our brackets common uh, constant terms. So what will be our answer? So our answer c1e 
to the power of 3x times 0 and also we can see second term c2e to the power of 4x times 0 is equal to the 0 and from this equation we can see left side is equal to the right side so it means our equation it works so and other exercises for your practice so try by yourself please the first equation y double prime plus uh, 5y derivative plus 4y is equal to 0 second equation 6y double prime minus y prime minus 2y is equal to the 0 and third equation y second derivative minus 16y is equal to the 0 so let's have these examples and try please practice by yourself